I'm now going to mix some mortar for repointing a lead roof valley. This mix is being made with three parts sand and one part cement by volume, as well as an handful of reinforcing fiber. And then all this is going to be mixed together using SBR instead of water. That will make the mix waterproof and also flexible. I've already added three tins of sand to the mixing bucket and I am now adding the cement. The fibre was quite difficult to find but I did manage to find some on eBay. Apparently there is enough fibre in that container to reinforce one cubic metre of concrete. I am adding an handful to the mix and I am ensuring that it is well broken up. Now I am using a mixer paddle and the Evolution mixer to mix the mix until it is mixed thoroughly. Obviously this is a lot easier if you have a cement mixer but for those without one the mixer paddle does work although it is hard work. I'm mixing enough of the dry materials to complete one roof valley but the SBR will not be added to the full mix. It's important to mix the mortar thoroughly and so this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to mix it up properly. It's best to have two mixing buckets, then you can tip one into the other to ensure the contents are mixed thoroughly. I'm now emptying one bucket into the other bucket before mixing it again with the mixer drill. Never mix more mortar than you can use in the same day. Once you have mixed the sand with the cement, if you leave it overnight it will become unusable due to the moisture content in the sand. Once the mortar is mixed properly, I am transferring enough mortar that I can use in about 20 to 25 minutes into a smaller bucket as the mortar soon sets once you mix it with the SBR. I'm now slowly adding the SBR to the mix and I am now mixing this using a gauging trowel. Always add the SBR in small amounts, as you can always add more, but you cannot take it out. Once you get it to the correct consistency, you have about 20 minutes to half an hour working time before it becomes difficult to work with. It's best to clean all tools as soon as possible using clean water and a stick brush. You can see that I've now got a consistent mix in the bucket. That is now going to be used on the roof valley, which will be covered in a later video. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you have found it useful, please subscribe if you haven't done already.